Hey guys, gonna try to make this video quick. Um, just sort of posting these uh, three blades as available or letting you guys know that they're available. I've already put them up on my website and I've already uh, put them up on the forums too. So I'm gonna try to get this out so you hopefully some of you guys can see it. If you're interested in any of these, um, basically we have the three woodsmen that I finished up yesterday. Uh, the first one, OD Green Sheath with the OD Green G10 liners. Uh, first let me start by saying actually they're all essentially identical except for I mentioned yesterday's in yesterday's video that the scales on the one in the middle here with the coyote are slightly uh, slimmer. Still nice and they still feel great in the hand but you can see uh, maybe between those two, the one in the middle a little bit thinner. But anyway, um, essentially the same, the dimensions are the same, blade shape is you know, essentially the same again since they are all uh, made one at a time. They might be slightly different, but uh, first of all, uh, the Coyote, all the sheaths have good retention. Um, sorry, not the Coyote, the OD Green. You can see it here. Again, mine the, uh, maybe I'll try to wipe off some of the, uh, the WD-40. The sheaths are lined with, uh, with uh, blue shop towel and WD-40 just to help uh, prevent scratches until you guys get them. So uh, here's the blade, maker's mark on the spine there, if you can see it. Um, Kind of in the reflection there, maybe just the same as it always is. You can see the pictures on the website. Uh, so this is the blade. They're all nice and sharp. I used the uh, the two by forty-two, or sorry, the one by forty-two with the leather strap belt, and I go over these for about five ten minutes to get sort of that semi-polished, semi-mirror edge on them. But uh, like I said, they're all nice and sharp. So that's the first one available. One fifty. All these are one fifty. This is the second one. You can see here. It's got the Coyote, the one that's slightly slimmer. Just simple uh, matching paracord lanyards as well. So the second one, again, good retention on the sheath. Try to get a little bit of the WD-40 off this one as well. You can see the blade there. So just a nice high flat grind. Maker's mark on the spine again. Uh, again, same with this one. Nice and, uh, nice and sharp, nice and smooth all the way across the blade, all the way to the tip. Um, yeah, they just uh, nice and sharp. So that's the second one that's available, and the last one has the uh, forest green liners with the black sheath. Uh, good retention again. Try to get some of the uh, crap off it for you. So uh, that's the last one. They all feel really good in the hand. You can see all the dimensions, and like I said, more pictures and stuff on my website. But uh, this one too, nice and sharp. Like I said, it's kind of like stropping the blade, but where I have it on the belt that's spinning at, you know, probably 1,500, maybe 2,000 RPM, it's like, you know, a couple hundred uh, stroppings per minute or a couple thousand strops per minute. So it uh, gets them really nice, gets a really clean edge on them. So those are the three blades, guys. I'm going to try to keep this video short so it uploads fast. All the sheaths are beveled. Again, you can take them apart. You can add a large or small tech lock. I have them all available here if you're interested in that. Um, again, the best way to kind of check out the blades and uh, find out the price and stuff is through my website. I got, I've updated the available knife section with these. So, uh, lastly, I guess I'll just show you the dimensions of the one. Like I said, they're all kind of the same, but as you can see, the uh, overall is about eight and three quarters, with about a four and a half inch handle, which would leave four and a quarter inch blade, and the cutting edge reads as about four inches but with the upsweep it would, the actual technical cutting edge would be a little longer than that so anyway guys those are the blades uh email me with any questions pm comment whatever uh thanks for watching